Uh, Ryan Kenny, R Y A N K E N N E Y, and I'm a commander with Vail Police Department. Okay, perfect. Um, you know, I guess just tell me. I know that uh, Bundy has kind of been in the in the news again, and there's been a lot of uh, buzz about it. And the fact is that the impact here in the Vail Valley and, and in the mountains was was pretty devastating. Yeah, there's been several TV programs lately that have come out and kind of resurfaced um, and kind of dredged up what happened in the past. Uh, I think it's kind of difficult for the victims' families to to go through this over and over again. And in this area here, he did impact this area quite a bit. So it is kind of a painful experience to go through this again. And, um, and specifically, there was a, a victim here in Vail. Yes, we had a female that was uh, abducted and according to um, Ted Bundy, he was, she was later killed somewhere between Glenwood Springs and Grand Junction. Uh, based on the description, we feel it's most likely in the rifle area, but we have not recovered her body. I was gonna say after 40 plus years? Our hopes were as, as time went on that someone in the backcountry would, would run into you know, some sign of her back there and that we could give the family some closure. But at, up to this point, that has not happened. I mean, I guess the only maybe good thing that could come out of this increased exposure right now is maybe for her, her remains to be recovered for the family. For us, that's really the last piece of the investigation is, you know, we would like to recover her remains and, and give the family closure and a proper burial. Um, everything else has been, you know, the investigation is complete. Uh, he's no longer with us. So for us, really, that's the last piece of the puzzle that we'd like to solve. And, um, and she's still listed as, is it missing? Is that right? She is still listed as missing. Um, we're fairly certain that we know what happened to her. Um, but again, we, we keep her as missing just in case remains are found in the area that we can do a comparison and, and hopefully figure out if it is her. And you had an investigator that did an, an interview with Bundy? Yes, one of our investigators back in 1989 did interview Mr. Bundy. He did give um, his account of what happened to Miss Cunningham in 1975. Uh, we're fairly certain it's somewhat accurate. We'll never know for sure. Um, but again, it would be very helpful to us, anyone has information or any information that would lead to the recovery of her remains. In that interview, I mean, did he go as far as to admit to, to killing her? He did admit that, that he killed Miss Cunningham. Um, you know, there's no way for us to verify that, but he was uh, somewhat truthful towards the end of his life, and it is the best information that we have at this time. And so really, um, like you said, the last piece is, is finding her remains. Yeah, it would be important to us to do that, to find her remains. Um, I think it, it gives any victim's family closure when they know what happened, and uh, we would love to be able to provide that to the family. And just a proper funeral, burial, however they want to honor her. Yes, just give them the option of having their own closure the way they want instead of somebody else's doing that for them. And um, what was the impact you know, on the area at the time, it seems like there was a lot of fear, a lot of emotions, um, you know, people were, were scared. And this was not, this is not an area where there's a lot of crime. <laughs> yeah, I really can't talk too much about that at the time. Um, I don't know if it was widely publicized at the time or if it was more of after the fact, the information started coming out. But uh, either way, I do know that it affected the valley, that this is a very peaceful, tranquil area. And for that monster to come through our little slice of paradise, is, it, it affects everybody here. And I know um, you're talking about some of the things that you have, and you don't really have any evidence, so to speak, because you've went ahead and turned over a lot of things to the FBI. When the full scale of uh, his actions came out, there was a task force that was started and people that were affected by him uh, joined the task force and a lot of the evidence was turned over to the task force so that all the information was housed in one area and they could, they could present the best case as a unified front. Um, what do you want people to know who might be watching this? That we haven't forgot Ms. Cunningham, that we hope to someday find her remains and that we can provide her a proper burial that she deserves 
and that uh, it's not something that the Vail Police Department or the town of Vail will ever forget about, and we remain vigilant to keep this from ever happening again. And I know one of the things in the documentary is people just said that it's a shame that more focus wasn't placed on the victims, and so much attention is being placed on him and how evil he was. That's the bittersweet part of giving him publicity, is that um, you know he truly is a coward that, that preyed on people and I would rather celebrate the victims for the lives they they led rather than celebrate him for the the lives he took and give him one bit of publicity.